Vagina. This organ receives so much of attention and social scrutiny that sometimes a woman find it's very difficult to talk about that in public. Unfortunately, most of the ideas about vagina are just a myth. It is not taught in the school very well. As a matter of fact, it is just another tube-like structure in a woman's body. End of suspense. The term vagina comes from Latin word which is known as discovered or the shit. It is also known as birth passage or birth canal. It has got a lot of funny and rich nerve supplies which makes it pleasurable at certain moments of life. This video you are going to listen is a part of our anatomy with coffee series. In our anatomy with the coffee series videos, we try to give you a friendly take on women's gynecological anatomy. We have already made few videos on ovaries, uterus, cervix and various other gynecological organs. If you are interested, go and find them. I will link it somewhere in the description. Today, we will be talking five different aspects of vagina and very important topics. So first, this is about the great confusion. This confusion between the vulva and vagina can be potentially harmful for any women because they will not be able to explain where the problem starts, whether it's a vulva and vagina. To you, sometimes vulva may seem a little bit different organ, but it is close to vagina, but it is not vagina. Well, let me discuss about this. Canadian uh, gynecologist Jane Gunter is very famous and she is very well known about important books on women's health. This confusion can be so damaging that Dr. Jane Gunter's book, The Vagina Bible, on the, um, the front page of that book, she has written that this is the confusion which can create a lot of physical, medical and legal problems for women. What is it about? Vulva is the skin or the skin covered area between the th upper thighs on the outside of women's body and the vagina is the canal which leads from the vulva inside the lower abdomen. So that is the difference between the vulva and vagina. Using the term vagina instead of vulva or vulva instead of vagina can create a lot of confusion and sometimes women do not get the right medical attention for the right problem. When we are talking about the vulva and vagina we also must talk about an interesting part of women's life which is known as hymen. Hymen is nothing but a soft skin tag at the entrance of the vagina and whatsoever it has got no relation regarding virginity and unfortunately reconstruction of hymenal tag is a multi-million dollar industry in cosmetic gynecology to show that women is virgin at the time of waiting. I hope this practice ends one day. Number two, the anatomy. It is deviously simple. As I said, it is just a canal in women's body. Through this canal, the doctors and nurses can take a close up information from lower abdomen. Essentially, vagina is a window for lower abdomen status. With internal examination, a gynecologist can check uterus, even ovaries. A lot of gynecological conditions can be checked via so-called simple vaginal examination. It can also pick up information of urinary bladder and rectum that is potty passage. That is not the end. Gynecological ultrasound is always recommended to be done via vagina. This is known as transvaginal ultrasound. The old style ultrasound is done via abdominal route that is from top of the abdomen. But nowadays more high resolution picture can be obtained with the transvaginal ultrasound and essentially most of the researches in modern gynecologies are based on findings of transvaginal ultrasound that means the ultrasound which is done to vaginal root no it is not a surgery it is not painful there is no cutting it is a simple examination as long as you find the right radiologist to do it and you can stay relaxed a good quality vaginal ultrasound is an art and it needs very well-trained doctors and nurses and proper environment to ensure privacy of women. Needless to say, I must mention one thing that there is an examination called two finger test. And I should use the term, there used to be an examination called true finger test. We have never used that and most gynecologists never used it. But unfortunately, somewhere in India, it used to be practiced to check if the woman was subjected to sexual violence. Unfortunately, this is not the right test to check such things. And of course, Supreme Court of India has finally banned this test. Normal vaginal examination or gynecological examination or internal examination is not two finger test. Normal vaginal examination or internal examination can give a lot of valuable information about women's health condition. And it is an acknowledged test in day to day gynecological clinic. 
This can make a big difference in the outcome of a woman because it gives a lot of valuable information to the doctor about your condition. Number three point, cleaning. How to clean the vagina? An answer I'm sure is going to surprise you. Vagina cleans itself. If you do not believe, listen to it. Vagina has got its own army of normal microorganisms which clean the vagina from inside out. You do not need any store-bought cleaning solution to clean the vagina. That can actually do more harm than good. Over hundreds of years, women never used any vaginal cleaning solution. But nowadays, thanks to all these flashy advertisements and endorsements by certain personalities, women are slowly moving towards using these vagina cleaning chemicals. In spite of the claim that it maintains the pH of the vagina, it may not be helpful for these friendly microorganisms which cleans the vagina. In Jen Gunter's book, we found out 57% of American women are slowly moving towards using this cleaning solution in day-to-day -day life and many of them claim that they are encouraged to do that by their partners. However, please do understand the science and do your own research before you use such washes regularly. As I said, the, the vagina has got its own microorganisms, the little tiny bacteria which creates and maintains the pH and cleans the vagina every day, every hour. The vagina stays so healthy that it is rare to find vaginal cancer in women. When I mentioned about this cleaning solution, I must also mention about something use of talcum powder on the vulval or vaginal area. Use of talcum powder has been linked with developing ovarian cancer and gynecological cancers. So please avoid using talcum powder regularly on vulva and vaginal area. The link is not very proven yet, but there are researches going on, but till then, Avoid using regular talcum powders on that area. Number four, privacy. Gynecological examination and privacy go hand in hand. We always say to our junior doctors that providing a privacy to women during gynecological examination is an art. In England, we are told that to provide same level of privacy that a doctor or nurse would expect if that doctor or nurse are getting examined by someone medical professional. So privacy is an utmost and important part for gynecological examination. Many women in fear of the fact that their privacy will not be protected avoids gynecological examination. This can be harmful. Suppose someone has got a heart problem and she or he does not like to have heart examined. So you can imagine the plight of that person. So that's why privacy is important. And in our clinic, we go extra miles to protect the privacy of women. And I guess most modern clinics take the privacy very seriously. And women should have no problems in getting gynecological examination in gynecological clinics. Of course, not everyone will need vaginal examination. However, the doctor will check who needs what type of vaginal examination or that lady or the girl is suitable for vaginal examination in the first place at all. Number five or the last point is the caution. Ultrasound examination or gynecological ultrasound examination can give lot of information about women's genital organs, ovaries, uterus and various other organs, but they do not pick up very good information about the vaginal problems. So if someone has got vaginal problems, the ultrasound can be quite normal. But please do not take it that the vaginal problem does not exist. Go to your doctor because the ultrasound scan is not designed to pick up vaginal problems. So discuss with your doctor in detail. Before, before you come to the conclusion that a normal good ultrasound scan means that you do not have any vaginal problems. The ultrasounds have become very reliable and very advanced but still it has got its own limitation. I hope I could explain that to you. So that's all today. We'll see you soon over another video and another topic. Please don't forget to comment if you liked this video or if you have got any more questions. Namaskar.